So some of you might know that a few weeks ago I tried to go to a provincial park to do some hiking, but they were closed due to some fire warnings and the dry weather happening in Manitoba. But it rained for a week and they reopened everything. So we decided to go to Spruce Woods and do the Spear Sands and Devil Punch Bowl Trail. It's still the end of May and it's kind of cold, 12 degrees, and the forecast said that it would go to 5 degrees. I'll be wearing a lot of layers just in case it does get warmer, but dressing up for 5 degree weather. In my bag, I have my DJI Mini, some snacks, sunscreen, bug spray, hand sanitizer, tissue, batteries and cables, my GoPro and gimbal, water bottle, and my DSLR. Just before leaving the apartment, I did a quick search on the Government of Canada's website and found out that the area I'm going to is a Class F restricted airspace, which means I cannot fly my drone, even though it's under the 250 gram weight category, which has less restrictions. So I brought my drone for nothing. If you're driving from Winnipeg, I recommend getting some caffeine before leaving. It's about 180 kilometers west, which is about two hours of driving. And don't forget, this is a provincial park, so you'll need a provincial park pass. As of recording this video, they are 950 for the daily pass, 1650 for the casual pass, and for the annual pass, it's $44.50. We left around 8 a.m. and arrived at 10 a.m. There was four cars before us, which is great. That means the trail is pretty much empty. All right, here we are at Spirit Sands in, uh, where is this again? Spruce Woods. And this is one of the first signs you see. Actually the second sign, but it's dangerous. There's some explosives. Don't worry, the trail is safe. As long as you don't go off the trail, you'll be fine. I said earlier before we left that I can't fly a drone here and I think that's probably the reason. I couldn't find any information online and that makes the most sense. Oh, look, there is this uh, little building here. So when you come to the trail, there are washrooms and they have toilet paper, hand sanitizer. But I do recommend you bring your own because you'll need it for the hike. And we're already walking on sand. Look at this. Guys, we made it to a rest area. There's a bench and a map here. According to this map, we've traveled one kilometer and there's a bit left to go for this viewpoint of the sand dunes. I thought their map was a little old and looked cluttered. So I decided to make a simplified and cleaner map for this video. And in the red dotted line is the trail that we took. It was about 8.2 kilometers. All right, we're here at the first viewpoint. It's just right over here, up these stairs. It took us about 30 minutes to get here with all the recording that we did. I think it'd probably take 15 minutes for someone that's just walking here, maybe 20. It was about um, one kilometer, no, one and a half kilometers away from the trailhead.
not sure how well these videos are doing this site justice here, but it's beautiful. You see a bunch of hills in the landscape there. And there's a nice little lake just beyond these trees. Oh man, uh, uphill. Well, it's a bit tiring. Look, this is the sand dunes. All right, we are two kilometers away from the punch bowl. And we made it to this rest stop. Making my way to the punchable and we were walking through some sand dunes and we found this interesting marker. Someone very artistic came here before us. <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to share. The environment here is super unique. The grass, the sand, plants, flowers, berries and trees all combined in one area it is something you definitely don't see every day you should be aware that you might run into some poison ivy ticks or even snakes snakes are called hognose snakes they aren't venomous but they probably will still bite so be careful the spirit sense has been around for more than 15,000 years and back then had about 6,500 square kilometers covered with sand. But only 4 square kilometers remain now. And here's the Devil's Punch Bowl. So this pool of water here at the bottom of this valley, if you can call it a valley, is the Devil's Punch Bowl. Rain water seeps into the sand and then travels through an underground stream to this pool of water. The layer underneath the water is a tight layer of clay that traps the water in this bowl-like shaped depression. Like the spirit sands, these springs move as well and we're not always in this position. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I highly recommend coming to Spruce Woods and checking out Spirit Sands and the Devil's Punch Bowl.